Hi, and welcome to Design Inc. Co. Today we're going to talk about an app called Coolers, which is a really great palette, color palette generator. I use it for everything from my branding to interior designs and also designing websites. You can actually bring in a color using a code or an image and search that color up and then generate amazing palettes. So I'd love to show you how it works. Let's dive in. Now Coolers is a web app and the web address is coolers.co. Um, so it has two pricing levels and it's not, it's not very expensive. Um, if you pay yearly, you pay $4 a month, which is about $48, which I actually think is um, a really great value. The big advantage here is the number of palettes that you can actually save. Um, so here you can own, if you, in the free account, you can only have five colors in your palette and you can only save up to 10 color palettes where the pro version, everything is free. The other thing that is great for interior designers is this collages, which I'm going to show you later, but here you can create color libraries, collages, gradients, all sorts of things. So I actually think it's worth the $50, um, but let's jump in and take a look. So the first thing is you can basically have a generator. So the generator, if you'd start it, it's, it's a group of colors and it gives you all of this information. So this is to actually lock a color and this is the hex code. So if you just click on that, it'll copy the hex code, which is actually so useful. And this, you can actually drag the, the palette around. So if you don't like the order or you want it from light to dark, you can drag it around like this. This one is for shades. And so this is really useful if you think it's just too dark and you just want to go a teeny bit lighter. Um, and so you can actually look at a whole lot of states it goes from the white to the black. And so let's say we like, we still like this one. And then this one here is a contrast and, the, and we want to sometimes if for buttons, for example, for websites, we want to check the contrast of the colors so we can see what it looks with, um, black text or white text. So you can then just check what, um, what the contrast is and okay so the first thing we're going to do is we can pick a palette from a photo so I'm going to upload this photo here I'm just going to drag it in and you can see it's a picture of Santorini and the reason I chose it is I love these blues and I want to add in a pink and a gray, but I actually quite like this um, color. And you can use this slider here to, to basically pick the kinds of colors you want. So if you want a lighter palette, or if you want kind of a richer palette, you can just keep on sliding and pick. But I quite like something like that. I like this beige, I like this thing. So I'm going to go next. And you can open it in a whole lot of things you can actually export a palette into like a PDF or you can save it to your collection or you can create a collage and so I want to firstly let's just open it in the generator and you can see here you've got all these colors and what you can do is let's say I love this color here okay and I'm looking for and I quite like this one here and I'm looking for maybe a beige color but I don't really I think this is too so I'm kind of can change it here to the bone now let's just rearrange them and see what we have and I think I'd like I'd like a pink so let's so what we can do is hit the space bar oops sorry so if you go back, you can go back by just doing control Z and we're just going to lock the colors we like. So I'm going to lock this one and I'm going to lock that one because I like that one. And I'm going to keep on hitting it until I get some colors. 
that I like. So you can keep on going back if you with Control Z. So for example, here I've got the lock here. So I'm going to. So I've got these colors here. Oh, I quite like this terracotta. So maybe I'm going to drag that next to here, and I'm going to lock that one. And I'm going to keep on going with the other two. And you can see how we want like maybe a pink kind of color. So once you sort of get into the things, okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's drag that over here and let's just have a look at the shades. Ooh. So I want sort of like a pink. Oh, I quite like that one. So actually, I really, really like this palette. So the first thing I can do, I can save it and I can call it um, my Santorini. Palette. And I can add some tags in here. So I might go for the web. Okay. And just I can save it. And then I can go in to export it and I can export it in all these things. So I can save it to Pinterest. I can, so actually they're quite cool for um, if you're thinking of palettes for clothes or sorry for interior design or, or fabrics I should say you can embed it or you can actually just download a PDF or you can download an image so there's many many ways you can and you can obviously save it and link it so that's the first thing and then you can that's the quick view palette and it'll give you all these now one of the things I have to point out is so we're going to lock all of this Okay, because I really like this palette is you can copy the hex code but you not only can copy the hex code so you can save this color and so on if you click in here you can actually choose what you what version you want so you can see even like a Copic pen for example if you're doing some drawing or Prismacolor pen but you've got this HSB HSL and they're usually used for web design and RGB obviously you've got the code so you can actually just copy whatever code you have so that's one of the big advantages and the other thing that is great is the CMYK if you're going to do some print um, this is the code that you'd use for printing so that's that's there now if you go and have a look at the tools and this is if you have a look at the tools I wanted to show you a really great thing so what we can do is use an image picker and we can create any pa um, palette so for example let's say we've got this this palette here let's say we want to we're going to look at um, I'm just going to choose something from Pinterest okay so let's just download this image this book too so we want to download that image okay so we've got two things we can hop back into hop back into this and we can browse our images and load these two images here okay and you can see immediately you've got a palette the best thing is if you go into here you can save this palette or you can go and choose all of these palettes so you can see oh that's gorgeous we might want to export this palette or we can save it um we can save this palette so i might just call is velvet interior palette Save. Okay, and the other thing is, let's just have a look, is this collage maker. So let's say we love this image. 
going to select an image. Let's, we can select the same image. Okay, and here we can then choose if you have a look at the palettes. Okay, that was sort of similar to what I chose. And you can create these beautiful collages. Um, so, and the nice thing is you can decide what kind of collage you want. So, for example, you can do that. You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. That's always gorgeous. There. Something like that. Um, that can also be amazing. And you can imagine what beautiful things you can do. Oh, and that's gorgeous, the Polaroid. So there. So you can actually, and then you can download it as a JPEG and pop it in your thing. So let's say I want to, I don't want to do that one. Let me just do something like this one here. This one here. Okay, and again, you've got really, really simple collage there. Um, and you can also choose the aspect ratio. So let's say there, you want that. So it shows more of the thing. And again, you can just download this collage here. Okay, so just finally, um, we can make gradients, which is also great for web design. So let's just cr quickly create a get gradient. And is we can choose a color. So let's say we know what the color is that we want to make this, maybe a blue. So let's just go into the more blues. And then we can either copy the CSS for um, web design or we can download it as an image and then upload it back into our web. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial on coolers. I have a branding course starting very soon which will teach you all sorts of tips and tricks just like this one. I'll leave a link in the description below and I hope you'll take a look. See you next time.